The biggest thing to understand in business valuation in mergers and acquisitions is that cash is king. It always has been. Buyers are looking to understand if they buy a company how much cash that company is going to generate, how much cash uh, they can pull out of the business. So in any valuation, whether it be today, five years ago, ten years ago, what it all boils down to is the ability of that buyer to make money and to drop cash flow to the bottom line. The one thing that we have seen that has changed over the last 10, 15 years and really almost more on an accelerating basis is that more and more value of companies are being derived from intangible assets. On a technology company where they have proven the concept and they have beta customers, it becomes a little bit easier of a product project in doing the valuation in that we can talk to the buyers and convince the buyers that there is traction with the technology and that it is being well accepted by the marketplace and that they can visualize stepping into their shoes, they can map out a process as to how quickly this can get into the marketplace and hopefully be excited enough about it that they bring their high expectations into the process and into the value of the company. The valuation team always starts with the owner of the business, uh, or at least the manager of the business if it's a, uh, a bigger company and we're valuing a piece of a bigger company. Um, they have the biggest, uh, vant the highest vantage point as to uh, how the company works, who the important people are, how the financial side works. Um, beyond that, we often deal with the uh, accounting department, the head of the accounting department, so we can understand the uh, dynam the financial dynamics of the business. The sales or operational people within the business are vital to understanding what the prospects of the business look like, how the business operations work, uh, how the workflow of the company uh, you know, goes by on a day-to-day -day basis. We really try the best that we can to fully understand what makes a business work how it's working, what bottlenecks there might be, what future capital expenditures there are out there, so we have a good feel for everything that might be coming up foreseeable in the near future. What the management team can expect is to get a good understanding of what pieces of their business drive value where we try our best to fully understand what the business does and how those activities or how those products drive value to the bottom line. Um, in companies where there might be multiple products and services, we'll oftentimes even break those products and services down in our valuation and look at those separately because they might not necessarily always be dependent on each other. One might be going up, one might be going down, or they might be going, you know, at whatever direction they are at different speeds. So it's important to break the business down into its vital components. In doing so, what we'll find is one part of the business might be much more valuable than the other part of the business. In driving future value, the owner really needs to understand what parts of his business are making money, what parts of his business aren't making money. And in making money, what I mean is earning a return higher than the capital that he has invested in the company, not just a pure accounting profit, but really a financial profit above and beyond the basic return of his assets. And in doing the valuation, as we break the company down into its various components, is we'll look to try to see what parts of the company are more valuable than others. So as we work with the business owner, we can even help them quantify and develop roadmaps so that we can help them strategize in looking at the business not only as it is today, but what the value of the business might be if they make different investments, such as a higher investment in their software as a service side, 
and say, look, if you invest X amount more money, X amount more time, and can build the business up to this certain level, your value can increase from here today to here tomorrow. And it, it helps the owner really develop a roadmap into getting the business where he needs it to be compared to where it is at the moment. <laughs>